Hey there Samsung users, if you're watching this video, chances are, you're having some trouble with your Samsung laptop keyboard. Don't worry, I've got your back. Let's dive into some common issues, and how to fix them, step by step. First let's start with the basics. Sometimes the solution is simpler than you think. Have you tried restarting your laptop? I know it sounds cliche, but a quick restart can often solve minor software glitches. Just hold down the power button, turn it back on, and see if that does the trick. Still no luck? Alright, let's move on to the next step. Check if there's any debris under your keys. Dust, crumbs, and tiny particles can get stuck under the keys and cause them to malfunction. Here's what you can do. 1. Turn off your laptop and unplug it. 1. Flip it upside down and gently shake it. You'd be surprised at what might come out. 1. Use a can of compressed air to blow out any remaining debris. If your keys are still not working, it might be a software issue. Let's update your keyboard drivers. Here's how 1. Go to the Start menu and type Device Manager. 1. Open Device Manager and find Keyboards. 1. Right-click on your keyboard and select Update Driver. 1. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the update. Sometimes a driver update can solve the problem right away, but if it doesn't, you might need to adjust your keyboard settings. Head over to the Control Panel and select Ease of Access. Then, click on Make the Keyboard Easier to Use. Here, you can turn off any settings that might be messing with your keyboard like sticky keys or filter keys. Give it a try and see if that helps. Now if your keyboard issues are still persistent, there's a chance the problem could be hardware related. In this case, it's best to contact Samsung support or visit an authorized service center. If your laptop is still under warranty, they should be able to help you out without any extra cost. And before I wrap up, here's a quick bonus tip for you. If you're in a pinch and need a temporary solution, you can always use an external USB keyboard. Just plug it in, and you're good to go until you can get your main keyboard fixed. Alright Samsung users, I hope this video helped you fix your keyboard problems. If you found this useful, don't forget to hit that like button, and subscribe for more tech tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.